everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing, well I've got several new products from Marc Jacobs I want to try out and since I've got some new foundation I'm trying out you'll see this video, uh, this will already be up, it, com uh, it Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact if you're interested in seeing that. I will put a link up in the description box because that's what I have on my face testing out. Other than that they have nothing else so we're going to get started and try out some products from Marc Jacobs. If you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, first off to start off, I'd like to give a call out. And this call out goes to Elaine Bynes. Elaine, thank you so much for watching my videos and commenting. I really appreciate it. I love you. Okay, now, what got me started wanting to do this, let's take this out. I actually ordered directly from Marc Jacobs several products here, so let's take these out. And what kind of got me intrigued was this new palette. It's all reflecting. But this is called, uh, this is since Iconic, and this is in the shade Stiletto really pretty cool tone compact so I thought you know what let's try some different Marc Jacobs products here and what I'm gonna do I did not purchase a foundation or a concealer of his because I just couldn't find any that appeared as though they were for dry skin now I will try and do this in the best order that I can uh, but what I'm gonna do is since I don't have any concealer on I've purchased several new concealers to test out, and this is one of them. This is by Too Faced. It's the Born This Way uh, Natural Radiant Concealer. And please excuse if you hear any dogs barking in the background. My neighbor's dogs are out in the back arguing with mine. <laughs> Anyways, and I purchased this in the shade Very Fair. And you get seven milliliters or 0.23 fluid ounces and this one sells for $28 and like always I will have all the products that I use in this video down below in the description box but what I want to do is apply this to my under eye and then I'm going to try and use this perfection powder to set it. Don't know how that's going to go but we'll try it out. Just going to pat this out to get a little bit of the moisture out before I blend it. This definitely feels very creamy and moisturizing. This is this does not feel like like for instance I cannot use Tarte Shape Tape. I can't use that because it is so drying on my under eyes. It just makes it ages me something horrible. Okay, now let's take a beauty blender. I should probably zoom you in, shouldn't I? I'm just off my game, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is definitely one that I would have to set because I can see it already trying to migrate into my lines. I'm not even going to call them fine lines because they're just lines. Okay, so let's see here. And I am going to use, in my last video, my Beautylish video, you saw me pull all of the uh, Sony G brushes. So today I'm going to use those for the first time. So I am very excited to try these out. So let's take out, this is again by Marc Jacobs, and this is called Perfection Powder Featherweight Finish, and this is in the shade Finish Line 100. I don't know why it has a shade. It comes in a little pouch here. The reason I wanted to try this out is I saw it, oh, and it comes with a little puff too. I saw it in the store, and this kind of reminded me of my NARS, their crystal powder. And this one retails for $48. Ooh, it is very, very, very silky fine. It's, you know, it is a hard pressed powder, but it's very fine. And then I'm going to take my Sonia G Face 2. Oh yeah, that picks up real nice. And set that. Yeah, this kind of does remind me of the, the Crystal Powder by NARS, the pressed one. This is the type of powder I think you'd want to use a stiffer brush on. I think if you used a smooth brush on this one, you wouldn't get very much product out of it. And two, you could hard pan this really easily. 
This is a very, very finely milled powder. I mean, I, can, I can't even feel it on my skin. I can feel that it's there because of how silky it feels, but it's not something that's, you know, if you have, if you want a really lightweight powder, well, let's see how that holds. And then, let's, I don't have, I don't think I have, I don't have any cream products here, so I'm actually going to use this to set my entire face out of the Sonia G line. I don't have a big face brush, so let me get a different one. I'm just going to take this Morphe G36 here and let's see how this does all over the face. It's hard to tell if it's picking product up or not because it's so fine and it's so hardly pressed. It's so pressed in there. I want to see if this is something that, you know, would work for skin like mine that's very dry without drying, you know, if it'll set my makeup without drying me out, I guess is what I'm saying. So that is finish line. Okay, moving along now, the next one I want to try out, again by Marc Jacobs. This is the hashtag Instamark Light Filtering Contour Powder. And I got mine in Mirage Filter number 40. And this sells for $49. No bag, just comes with a compact. And this comes with a, looks like some kind of a banana powder and a contour. And I'm going to take, let's see here, I've been wanting to use this baby. Haha! -ha. This is the Sonia G Sculpt One. And I'm going to put this in the contour here. Oh wow, it really picks up a lot of product. Yee yeah, boy! I might have overdone it, we'll see. Oh, 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 oh yeah! Holy cow! Oh my gosh. Oh boy. That just left like a straight up wine. Come on, blend out. Wow, this brush is very soft. soft but it picks up product beautifully as you could see I mean <sighs> one of those days you guys one of those days it's what happens when you try new products you have no clue how they're gonna perform okay this side let's go lighter Come on Shelby man almighty well hopefully when I go over it with my finishing pout, you know, when I buff everything in, I can get that. Oh, wow. That is really, it does not want to move. It is really on there. Ah. So I would say these are very pigmented. <laughs> go gentle. I mean, I'm literally just taking a tiny bit and then tapping it out on my hand. Love this brush. Oh my god, I love this brush. <laughs> you guys, I'll tell you. Yeah, this one I would say definitely go easy. It is incredibly pigmented. You don't need a lot, and as you can see from my mistake, it is very, very easy to go overboard. Next! <laughs> Whoopsies! I'll tell you. Okay, and the next we have the Omega Bronze. And I have mine in the shape Tantastic 104, and this is $49. And it does not come in a bag, just comes in a compact like this. Very pretty. But looking at what's on my face right now, don't know if I need a whole lot more, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna use my uh, Tom Ford number no. five, which is my favorite bronzing brush. Let's just dip her in there and tap it out a little. 
hope it's not going to be too warm for my face. You can definitely see the the color difference between the, the bronzer and the uh, contour there. Woo! Oh boy. I have the air blush and there's four shades in this. I have 508, Night Fever, and Hot Stuff, and this is $42. Seems to be the, the magic with the, all of Marc Jacobs products. They're like 40 in the 40s. Beautiful compacts on all these. I mean, look at that. His compacts are just gorgeous. Oh boy. That didn't look this dark online. I have a feeling this is going to be way, way too dark for me. But let's give her a try, shall we? And I'm just going to use my Real Techniques blush brush on this because it's really light. You know, one thing I noticed about <clears throat> Marc Jacobs products is they are really, really pressed hard into the pans. But the product comes up nicely. So I'm going to stick over here on this lighter side. Oh, maybe it's not. And I am going to put my blush on a little heavier than I would if I wasn't buffing. Just because I want it to still be there after I buff. And that, <laughs> I look like a clown now! Oh my lord, I'm looking in the camera and it's like, oh. I swear to God, you guys, it's not that, in it's intense, but it's not that intense. I wish I would have purchased a lighter shade in this though. That's the only thing. I think that one is going to be too dark for me. Bummer! Now just to, before I move on to my eyes or anything, I'm going to take my good old Charlotte Tilbury uh, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and I'm going to try and buff over all this. This powder just takes anything and blends it together beautifully. God, I love this powder. And it does not dry my skin out. If you have dry skin, this is the powder you need to get, without a doubt. I'm going to take my Hourglass Veil and my Beauty Blender and get a little on my Beauty Blender here. Okay, we'll let that sit a minute. <laughs> oh God, I'll tell you. The fun of trying out new products, you guys. Okay, now, another thing that I picked up from Marc Jacobs New is his Brow Wow. Sephora, Sephora has it on sale for $15 right now, normally $25, and I purchased Taupe. Holy cow, I don't think I've ever seen a brow pencil that fine. Oh, I'm scared to death this is going to break. Let's give her a try. I wonder if he's redoing this, if that's why it's on sale. I wonder if he's going to pull it and he's releasing a new one. I'm not getting a whole lot of pigment off of it. I'm afraid to press on it and fear that I'm going to break it. I don't think I've ever worked with a pencil that's this fine. I mean, it is very, very, I mean, it's like micro blade fine. And it's, for taupe, it's a lot warmer than I'm accustomed to. Love the spoolie on it, but I don't particularly care for the color with how warm it is. Well, I hate to say it, but I can see why this is on sale. I, I don't, I just don't care for it. It's so difficult to use because it's so small. Yeah, the color is really off on that. Can you guys see that? How the, What the color looks like? The chill is my favorite, but I'm out of it, unfortunately. I have a little sample here from Benefit. This is their Goose Proof, which is considerably larger than I'm used to. But let me try this one out over here. Oh yeah, see that just... Holy cow, I don't have to kill myself trying to get the color on. 
and it definitely is a different color than Mark's. Wow, the color is considerably different. This is much cooler toned how I would expect. Well, this one's even not completely, yeah, this one's not. I'm gonna just put a little bit on here to kind of well, you know what I'm going to do? I don't, I'm not happy with either of these. This uh, Goof Proof is in shade 3. I don't know if that's my shade or not. The one thing I, the only thing that's held me back from ever buying Benefit Brow products is that they don't do their shades standard like everyone else. You know, it's not like there's taupe, light brown, dark brown. They have one, two, three, four, five. And to me, it, it just takes too much brain power to try and figure out what is taupe out of that because they don't even have comparisons on there like by shade two if you're you you know if you usually use taupe by shade two they don't have anything like that i wish they would so what i'm going to go back to is an oldie but a goodie i'm going to use my uh anastasia beverly hills brow powder duo and this is in the shade taupe and i'm going to use the lighter shade here i haven't used powders in a long time So, out of everything so far I've used from Marc Jacobs, this brow pencil is, that's just not for me. Somebody else might like it, but it's not for me. Okay, moving along. This is the iconic Stiletto is the color, and these are $49. Okay, so here's what the palette looks like. She is reflective silver and very pretty on the front. And the back has the shade little bubbles with the shade names on them. Let's take a peek at her. Oh, it's got a full-size mirror in it. Beautiful. Look at that. Full-size mirror all the way along the palette. And there is... Well, let's get it all in there. There are the shades. I was so excited when I saw this. Uh, he's also got another one, the, the one that has a leopard print on it that I really want to pick up. But this one just spoke to me because of all the cool tones in this. So I am going to try and use as many of the Sonia G brushes as I can. Okay, I wonder if I can use this, <laughs> this palette to do my eyes. Well, we'll try it out and see how it works. Let's see if we're on the go if we can actually use it. I'm going to start with the first shade right here, this white one. Let's see if, oh, they're very creamy. And that appears to be matte. It is called Rule. And I'm going to take my Sony G Worker 2. Oh, wow, these are really creamy. And I'm just going to place that right under my brow bone. And taking my Natasha Denone number 10, which is my favorite, I'm going back into that first shade there, Rule. And I just want to very gently bring it down, just here, transition it down. Man, these are creamy. Holy cow. They literally they almost feel like a cream powder formula combo. Really interesting. I'm going to go to this next second color here, which is called... The concrete. I'm gonna try the Sony G Worker one. Wow, that picks up a lot of product. Oh, that was a lot more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. Look at that. Holy cow. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that to be as pigmented as it was at all. I mean, that was, that packed a punch. I was not prepared for that. And this Sonia G, what is this, the Worker one, this picks up 
an enormous amount. I mean, all I did literally was tap it like that, and then I, I mean, it, it picks up a lot of product. So uh, I should have known better working with a brand new brush, not knowing how it was going to perform, that uh, I go a little slower, but now I'm going to have to do the same thing I did since I already made the boo-boo. Okay, now I'm going to go to this fourth or fifth color in the palette over here. I don't know if I'll be able to use this as a transition or not, but I'm going to try it. And the shade name is Become. These are very, very, very soft. So you really have to be careful um, dipping your brush into them because they just, they pick up a lot of product and they're very delicate. Okay, <laughs> this is a little nerve wracking because you know I'm working with a brand new formula I've never worked with before and new brushes. So, okay, I'm going to try. And hopefully, I won't make a mistake here. I'm going to pick up the worker one again and I'm going to go in to that purple one called Jungle and let's see if we can. Oh, yeah, see now it. Wow, isn't that something? I'm just going to lay this one a little lower. These are making me nervous, you guys, because they're so, so pigmented, and these brushes just pick up like nothing I've ever seen before. Holy cow. So imagine the combination of an uber pigmented eyeshadow and a brush that just picks up dents. Whew. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to uh, let's see here this Luxie 231 in that color jungle and see if I can get it just right in the crease there. I think until I get the um, Sonia G's eye set, these are, I mean, these are some nice brushes, don't get me wrong, but these are more for really packing on color as opposed to blenders. I need to get the blenders. dark really can get it dark I'll tell you it's a dark palette this is definitely what I would consider a nighttime palette I don't know that you could get a light look out of this palette for daytime I mean I'm sure you know anybody could if they tried hard enough on something but I would say that this is definitely a nighttime favored palette I want to take that color I just used which was jungle and I'm just going to bring that right under my eye, my lower lash line here. You know, I've heard people talk about Marc Jacobs eyeshadows saying that they're not pigmented and they don't blend well. And I, I don't know if he's reformulated or they just, I don't know. But I'll tell you, these are without a doubt highly pigmented. And in my experience thus far, they blend beautifully. So I'm not quite sure why I was hearing so different on them. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to, was it concrete? The concrete. And just blend this out. Before, I'm kind of scared to do this, but we're going to try it since I'm doing a nighttime look here. I'm going to go into the black one on the very end, which is called Catwalks. Let's see if this is pigmented or not. Oh, uh, yep. Okay. Now, there is one shade in here that I think I bought this palette for called Sparkling. 
which is the second to the last here. I am definitely going to put an eye base on with this. I think I'm just going to go ahead and use my Too Faced glitter glue because I do not want to lose this. This looks like a beautiful shade. Okay, so I'm just going to take this uh, little flat shader brush here and apply this glitter glue everywhere that I want the real stunner to stick. And then I'm going to take my uh, MAC 237, I think, I don't know, we'll go into this and see if it'll pick up. Oh my god, that's a gorgeous shade. Let me try it with my finger. Oh, oh lord have mercy, that's beautiful. And again, even though this is glitter, it feels like absolute silk when you touch it. So it's very, very finely milled. Wow. I was not expecting that incredible multi-dimension out of it. Yeah, I knew this color was going to be beautiful, but I had no idea it was going to be this stunning. The blue reflect in this is incredible. Oh my god, it's just gorgeous. Okay, let me do the other eye, and I'll be right back. I know this is going to be kind of wacky doodle looking, but I don't care. I want to put a little bit of this glitter on the inside right here. So I'm going to put some glitter glue here to help it stick. Now, going in with that gorgeous... No, not in my eye. Oh, it's so pretty. It went right in my eye and it's stinging like a you-know-what. Do not want my eye to water. Now, that might be a little dark for the inside, but there's nothing lighter in this palette I can use. So, we'll just go with it. Now, I do want to just show you real quick. I'm going to swatch these little tiny swatches here on my hand just so you can see the color palette because it's, they're very deceptive in the pans. They Actually, there is a light one in here I can use. Maybe I, can, I can't even believe I didn't even see this one. Oh, that's pretty. That's like a, there's one in here called Sidewalks. And it goes to show you how overshadowed it is by the other that uh, I didn't even see it in there. <sighs> okay, so there are all the colors and this one right here is the one called Sidewalks that was just kind of overshadowed by that beauty up there which is called Sparkling and that one is absolutely stunning that sparkling one oh it's gorgeous now that fourth Sidewalks it kind of looks like a taupe it's not a shimmer it's almost like a a foiled taupe, kind of. I wonder if I can put that anywhere, if it'll... You know, I think if I were to use this again... I don't like... I would put down... Yeah, definitely. If I were to use this again, I would put this one down, this shimmery type one called Sidewalks. I'd put that down first and then put the sparkling over it just because of the way that the sparkling grabs onto it is much smoother than just the sparkling on my eyelid by itself. <clears throat> but this is definitely, I, I, you know, if you're looking for a nighttime palette, I think this would be a beautiful one. If you're looking for one that you can create that real va-va-voom, sexy, smoky eye that has really high impact, multi-dimensional shimmer so that, you know, when you like, if you're, this would be perfect. I see this beautifully matched with like a black dress going out, you know, and you've got a, just a black dress, beautiful, classy black dress and a smoky eye with that, you know, shimmer being the, what steals the show of it. 
Now, let's see real quick before I move on to finish the eyes. If the lip color I picked up can go with this, I don't know that it can. We might have to pick, go with something different. I picked up Slow Burn is the shade, number 458, and the Lamarck Liquid Lip, Lip Creme. Oh, did I just... Oh, I did! <laughs> Let's see. I was trying to find one that could go with this, but I don't know. There's the lip color with the palette. I just think it's too much. What do you guys think? Uh, <sighs> I really wanted to try it though. Well, let's finish off the eyes first real quick here. I do want to try, I didn't get to show this to you guys in the Beautylish haul because I had some footage that corrupted, but this was in there, which is the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen in the shade 01 Deeper. Oh, it has a... So it looks like one end has... Oh, one end is much longer than the other. I'm going to use the, the longer side. Wow, that went right over that glitter. You know, I asked myself, was this, did I think this was worth the money? And seeing the way that that literally just glide, it, it just went right over all that glitter. Dense, thick pigment. Yeah, well, I'm going to have fun using that in the future, let's just say that. Okay, and then I have, I just got a little one of these because I was going to wear lashes with this. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Lash in the shade 30 Blacker. But real quick, even though I know this does not go with the look and the colors, I want to put it on as a zizz of color. And that is the Marc Jacobs Highliner. This is the Glam Glitter Gel Eye Crayon in the shade 23 Gemstone. And if you are looking for an eyeliner that will not only stay in your waterline, but that is absolutely gorgeous, these are them. Oh, my eyes getting all red from where I got that damn glitter in it from the eyeshadow palette. Dang nabbit! I mean, these are, you know, they have them in the matte color I showed you guys because Marc Jacobs sent me a, several of them, which... I very much appreciate it because I absolutely love their highliners. But this new formula that's glitter, I have never seen anything like this before, you guys. And it is truly glitter. How they get the glitter to have enough impact that it's visible, I have no idea, but they do. I mean, that is truly, it's just beautiful. I just absolutely love it. I definitely want to get all the shades in this glitter liner formula because I love it. Okay, so let's put on the mascara and then I'll do some lashes and I'll be back with my final thoughts if I can get this open. So let's see how your mascara is, Mark. This actually feels really dry. I wonder if this is a dry formula or if I just got an old one. Because, I mean, I'm not getting... Yeah, it's bone dry. This must be an old one, you guys, because there's like nothing coming out of this at all. I can't picture with how pigmented all his products are so far that his mascara would be bone dry. I mean, I don't even see any liquid on the... Yeah, I don't even see anything shining on this spoolie here. It is just dry. Yeah, there, I think there's something wrong with this. I don't think that's the way that the formula is, because literally you can't even see that I put anything on my lashes. It's just... Nope. So, I'm not gonna... But like, again, that's the Omega Lash. This is a volumizing mascara, but that literally did nothing, so... I think I just got a bad one. Okay, I'm gonna find some lashes and I'll be right back.
Okie dokie. <laughs> these are, you know, you guys know me, I'm hunting for lashes. I decided to try these out. These are by Lashaholic. They're luxury lashes and they are in the design Instaglam. A box like this. They're cute. Not my, not my, you know, style, but uh, they're cute. Okay, I am going to try this on just for the heck of it. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Iconic Nude. Oh, and I forgot. This is uh, the Recover Perfect uh, Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. I want to try his, found his face products, his primers. Oh, oh, there was something else. Oh, God. Durr. And his powder and stuff like that as well. Uh, this is $39. I totally forgot that I had the sequins here to try. I have two of them. Gleam Girl and Topaz Flash. I'll show them to you. Dagnabbit, I knew I was forgetting something. I'm just gonna... In the bottom of my face. Ooh. And my forehead. Oh, that smells really nice. I like the mister on that and the smell of it. Oh, it put a nice glow on my face, which I like. Can you guys please excuse how red my eyes are? I got the this glitter formula like directly in my eyes when I was doing my inner corners with it. So it instantaneously irritated my eyes. Okay, let's try uh, this lip product, shall we? I'll tell you, I love his, what are they called? Let me find them here. Well, they call them mini li liquid lips, not minis. I like the full size ones, but I love that formula. And I have one of those. Maybe I should use those. Okay, the Lamarck Liquid Lip Creme is $28 and it is available in five shades. And again, I got 458 Slow Burn. I think it's going to be too much for this, but we'll just give it a try. I'm just messing up everything today. You have those days, you guys, where you get it on your teeth, you go outside your lip line. And... <laughs> Is it too much for this look? Well, <sighs> it's hard when you're ordering online seeing colors. You know, I thought that this was an actual liquid lip in terms of being staying liquid, but the way it feels on my lips right now, feels like it's drying down. Well, I guess we'll just leave this on for now. So that is my almost full face of Marc Jacobs. What do you guys think? The palette, I think, is absolutely beautiful. I will say, though, that, I mean, you know, looking at the colors, even if you were to take these and apply them really, really lightly and, you know, and fan them out and blend them out and blow them out, I, I, I don't think this is going to be a daytime palette. I think this palette is, this palette shines for a nighttime, sexy, sultry look. Um, could I use it in the daytime? Of course I could, but... I would be limited. I would probably just use these two shades here and this one, these first three, and I'd probably really, really blow out uh, those matte colors and just apply them very, very lightly, blow them out, and then apply this shimmer to the lid, and that would be it. Uh, that's about the extent of what I think that palette can do for daytime. For nighttime, sky's the limit. I mean, you could go, you know, I did not go dark on this at all, even though it looks like it, especially in comparison to my extremely pale skin. Remember, you guys, I am ghost white. <laughs> so when I put on an eyeshadow that is like this, that looks, you know, it, it goes ba bam against my skin tone because, you know, like if you were to apply these same shadows to somebody with medium skin tone or darker skin tone, they're not going to have this kind of intense you know, conflict as it does with my skin tone. So they really stand out because they're on a white background. <laughs> but I still think this is a nighttime palette. But uh, I think it's a gorgeous palette. There's no question. 
they're, let me zoom you out here. I'm looking at myself like right up front, I'm like, yeah, that's too much. Uh, I think it's a beautiful palette. I think the the formula is, is incredible on these. It's creamy, it's smooth, it blends like a dream. I mean, if there was ever a palette that I would want to blend nice, it's definitely gonna be one that's got dark, intense shades like this one does and purples like this one does. That was my biggest concern is, are these going to blend? Because they're purple based. They blended beautifully. I've never felt shadows quite like this before. And they do have dimethicone up pretty high. Looks like about the fifth ingredient in these. But they, they're just incredibly smooth. They, they feel, like I said, almost like a combination between a cream and a powder formula. They're like almost on the border there, but yet they blend beautifully like a powder does. So uh, this blush I thought was absolutely beautiful. I just wish I'd gotten a little bit lighter shade in it. Uh, this Omega Bronze is gorgeous. If you're looking for a beautiful bronzer, I think this goes on, you know, light skin like mine just as well as it does on darker skin. As for the hashtag Instamark, the contouring palette, I would just say be careful. <laughs> as you saw, it was incredibly pigmented. I think it's almost too pigmented. And then the Perfection Powder, I don't quite know what to think of this yet, you guys. It is packed so hard in the, the compact here that you really have to dig your brush into it. But I do like the fact that it's an incredibly, incredibly fine, lightweight, silky powder. If you like NARS, their pressed uh, crystal powder, I think you would probably really like this one by Marc Jacobs. Let's just, that's the closest thing it reminds me to. Um, and the uh, Brow Wow, I, this is, a, this is the only thing in this whole lot that I purchased that's a pass for me. I just don't care for it. I don't care for the color and I don't care for how fine it is and how difficult it is to apply. Highliner, this is a killer absolute. I would highly recommend you guys pick these up. The, my eyes are incredibly watery. These are Marc Jacobs highliners. To date are the only eyeliners that stay in my waterline. And the fact that he's now made these with metallic, oh, like I said, I want them all. Now let's take a look real quick before I say goodbye to you guys at the sequins, because I wanted to use these today. I was gonna apply these to my eyes and I just forgot about it. $28 and they're available in, I believe five or six shades. I wanna get all of them. These are stunning. This one is Gleam Girl, shade number 82. And they all come in a glass component here with uh, a little top on them to keep them secured. And I'm just gonna take what's on the top off here. You guys, these are absolutely incredible. Incredible. If you want something that is shiny as all get out and will set your lids afire, these are them. Let me zoom in. These are incredible. Again, this is Gleam Girl. I mean, look at the shine on that. They are just absolutely incredible. And they're, you know, you when you first feel them, you think, oh, they're gonna just fall apart and fall all over the place because they're kind of, they kind of have a light flaky texture to them where they feel like they're just gonna go everywhere. But the minute that you put your, you know, finger to them and blend them, boy, they just come alive. This one's number 90 Topaz Flash. And I believe I used this one in my I'll put a link up in the cards if I remember. I'm pretty sure I used this shade where I did, I play my makeup artist and I did my daughter-in-law's makeup. Matter of fact, I'm positive I did. So there is Topaz Flash and Gleam Girl. But look at those, you guys. I hope that the camera just never does things like this justice that are this reflective. They are stunning, in my opinion. They are worth every penny. You get an enormous amount of product in here. These each have 3.5 grams. I mean, you are not gonna go through these anytime soon unless you plan on coating your body with them or, you know. I mean, I've even wanted to create a look where I take them and do like Indian war paint with them. I mean, they're just, they're just that stunning just so I can have them all over my face and look at them. And I am American Indian, for those of you that don't know. 
not 100%. My grandpa was 100% Chippewa. Anyways, let's see. Oh, I forgot one other thing I want to try. I just got this new, this is new to me. This is Ofra's highlighter. I've been dying to try this little Sonia G brush here. This is the Sculpt 2. And this is Ofra X Nuki, Nikki Tutorials Highlighter in Everglow. I'm going to go in this lightest shade over here. And let's see, I've never tried one of Ofra's highlighters before. <gasps> did I just do that? Oh my god, I did. I just put... Okay, let's move over here. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, what do I do now? Oh my gosh, you guys. That is like, holy cow. Okay, let's try and buff this in a little, shall we? <laughs> oh my god. That is insane. Let's try and pick up a tiny bit. And my nose here. Oh my god, you guys, look at that. That is absolutely insane. I'm going to use my finger. Oh, that's not any better. Oh, oh my lord. Oh. I mean, that is just absolutely insane. Look at... Uh, I can't even get it to blend. I mean, it's, this is just the day for me, y'all. This is the nothing. Shelby's going to apply everything in too heavy of concentration, and it's not going to blend. That's the day for me. I wonder if I can put a tiny... I probably shouldn't do this, because I'm probably going to make an absolute disaster of myself. But I'm going to take a combination of that lightest and the gold. And let's just try and put a tiny, tiny bit up here. Wow, these really pack a punch. Holy mother of God. By the way, I'm using Sonia G's Builder 1. And I'm going to put a little bit right in there. Just to brighten up that deep socket in there of mine. Well... I would definitely say that uh, what people are saying about Oprah's highlighters is very true. <laughs> that is insane. That is absolutely insane. I cannot believe when I first put that on how it just went ba bam. Okay, so that's it for now, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video just playing around with some Marc Jacobs products. Uh, I'm plan on getting some more because I really enjoyed this. I'd like to get a few more of his eyeshadow palettes and his face products and try that and see how they perform on my mature skin. And I have some fun stuff coming up. I have uh, indie brand Menagerie Cosmetics that I got some stuff from. I've got uh, Anastasia's new collection coming up there. Uh, sunset collection. So got some fun stuff coming up. So make sure and hang in there. I hope wherever you're at in the world, life is treating you well. And if you're having struggles, you're beating the bitches back and persevering. Remember, don't ever give up. Don't ever give in. Don't let people tell you no. You fight for what you want, damn it. And you fight hard and you will succeed. I love you guys. And remember, when you go out in the world, treat those you encounter with love and respect because they, like you, have feelings and can be hurt as well. Till next time, I love you. Bye!